What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a upper body workout. I haven't started yet. I am actually filming this intro in the beginning of the video. Hence, I got no pump. But that we will fix very soon. I'm very excited to take you guys through this workout today. But before we get into it, I just want to say I really, really appreciate all of the support on my last video. It is always a little nerve wracking trying something new, but it seemed like you guys really like this new series that I am starting. And also, if you guys can't tell, I did buy a new mic. I actually bought like a real official road mic so hopefully this should be a lot better if you watched my last video you know what i'm talking about when i'm saying that it is no secret that the audio wasn't the greatest so i'm really glad that i chose to already invest in better equipment so hopefully it should be good today let me know down below if it sounds better but i just want to say before we get into this workout i just really appreciate all the support i am committed this time we are going to stay consistent to our workouts and i am going to make sure to continue posting workouts as well as long as you guys do them make sure to put in the work i will hold you guys accountable so if you are going to do today's workout make sure to comment down below if you're going to do it or if you are just going to work out in the gym and this kind of help you give you that extra kick to actually go out and do it don't forget you will never regret going but you will always regret not going even if you are at the gym and you aren't feeling the best i feel like it's always easier to go to the gym and then just do a little and while you're there you might as well do this exercise and since you completed that exercise you might as well do another one it gets a little bit easier once you get there so let this be a sign not to skip out on your workout so before getting into today's workout i want to show you guys a new flavor of the clear whey isolate so it is impact week right now for my protein which means that all of their delicious protein supplements right now have some pretty insane discounts so if you want to stock up on your protein supplements i highly recommend doing it now make sure to use my code and click the link in the description but i just made this delicious protein water as i do like to call it i actually posted a reel about it but i will probably post it on youtube shorts as well so make sure to check it out if you haven't already but i have been having this protein water in the freezer for about i would say 20 minutes now so it's really ice cold which makes it the perfect drink to drink during my workout something so refreshing so it's pretty much just like a protein drink it is like whey protein but the clear whey isolate is more a juice form of a protein drink and then of course they have these really cool bottles that keeps the drink really cool for a long time it is really good especially if you like apple flavor they launch a whole bunch of different apple flavors one being the caramel apple then they also have the clear vegan protein in the spiced apple and for those who need more clear collagen powder they also have the crisp apple flavor in this product as well i just want to disclaim you don't need supplements to make results this is in no way shape or form me telling you that you need these to make progress what supplements just do is that they help speed up the progress a little bit they help consume your protein intake supplements alone won't give you results but they definitely benefit your journey if you actually like taking supplements as well as i said i will be linking these down below and that's enough talking let's get into today's workout so we are starting off today's workout with a superset we are doing arnold press you can do this standing if you don't have a bench but i definitely prefer to do arnold press sitting down so grab your dumbbells whatever weight challenges you you don't have to do the same as me I am simply just using 10 pounds only. I only have 10 pounds and then 20 pounds, but I would probably press with 15 if I was at the gym. So basically Arnold Press, you start the exercise with holding the dumbbells in front of you like this, 
Make sure your wrists are straight. I see a lot of people lifting the weight just like this, but make sure you straighten your wrists so you won't have any uh, strains in your wrist, especially when you're lifting heavier weights. From here, you want to press up by rotating the weight 180 degrees, I believe. 180 degrees, press up. You don't necessarily have to fully extend your elbows, but just press up enough for you to feel it in your shoulders and triceps and a little bit of lats. When you're up here, like in a shoulder blade, make sure you aren't overarching your lower back or your rib cage aren't flaring up too much. Make sure you are still tucking in your ribs, having your core engaged, and then slowly lowering the weight on the negative rep. And once you have finished your Arnold press, you go immediately into the seated lateral raises. Obviously, I'm going to do a little bit of explaining, but since it's a superset, you're supposed to go into this exercise immediately after with no break. So what I do for the lateral raises is that you have to bring your legs forward like this in the front so your thighs or legs won't limit your range of motion. I like to lean slightly forward like this, and then you basically raise your arms no higher than horizontal. Some people really lift them really high up like this. You kind of lose the engagement in your lats a little bit. And another note is that I like to have a slight bend in my elbows as well. I'm already feeling it in my arms so much. So next exercise is on its own. It's no superset or nothing. I am going to do elevated push-ups using the bench, but feel free to do them on the floor if that's what you prefer and if push-ups are easy peasy. What I'm going to do is more like a drop set. So I'm going to do six diamond formed push-ups. And then I'm gonna move out to more like a regular tricep push-ups for another six reps. So 12 in total. When you get into the push-up position, make sure you tuck in your pelvis. Way too many stick their butt up in the air when doing the push-ups. It kind of have to look ugly for it to really work. So tuck your pelvis like this. And in this position, you want to push yourself forward with your toes just like this, so you have a little bit more of a forward lean. It almost has to feel like a plank, which the push-up basically is when you're just in the starting position. Obviously, we want to start with the diamond push-ups, which is like a close grip push-up. I guess that's another way to describe it. And from here, as I mentioned, we are doing six reps of the diamond, and then we are moving out in a regular push-up and doing six reps of the regular tricep push-up. Lastly, we are going to finish off with a circuit of three exercises. We are going to do them on the floor and we are going to play around with a little bit of tempo. We are going to start with chest press, but since we aren't using the bench, which will allow us more range of motion, I wanted to kind of switch it up just to kind of shock my system a little bit because I'm so used to always using the bench. We are going to speed up the reps just a little bit and add a little bit more reps to this one since we are doing them on the floor. Immediately after the chest press, we are going to do a single dumbbell close grip chest press. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has another name for it. I just don't exactly remember it on the top of my head. And lastly, we are going to finish off with some skull crushes. So lay down, get comfortable on the floor. I don't know how comfortable I can be with these space buns. Probably not the best idea. I'll just demonstrate a couple of them with the 10 pound dumbbells before moving on 
So the 20 pounds, but what I like to do in my chest press is that I like to keep the form almost like a push-up. It does work your triceps a little bit more when your elbows are a little bit lower towards your body rather than more outwards like this. More out just like this, like you would do if you're pressing a barbell is definitely a little bit more chest, but I personally prefer that it's a little bit more chest and tricep and that's why I have my elbows a little bit closer to my body. Also make sure to keep your wrists straight in the chest press. I see far too many as I explained earlier, having their wrists just like flopping down like this. Make sure you keep them straight. And when you're at the top of your chest press, make sure you do not let the dumbbells kiss. Keep them apart even at the top to keep the engagement. And as I mentioned, we are going to play with tempo. So the reps are going to look something like this rather than I would normally do it a little bit more explosive up, but then slowly lowering myself down on the negative. I am definitely feeling the pump. Do you guys see that? I actually got a little bit of muscle. That last circuit definitely almost took me out. As I mentioned, you have to do all three exercises back to back to back before you're counting one set. Then you can take a break and then you can jump back into your second set and so on. I normally take about 90 seconds of rest in between, but that does really depends on who I'm working out with, if I'm working out alone and how I'm feeling for the day. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's workout and I'm going to try it out. As I mentioned, this can both be done at home and in the gym. I will soon be making a new updated at home gym video. I pretty much still have the same equipment as I used to have, but I definitely has added on a few items as well. Feel free to add more exercises if this is too easy for you. I personally think this was a killer, especially because I added more sets to each one of my exercises. And also every workout doesn't have to be an hour plus long. It can be something a little bit quicker and simple to do like this, where you add on more supersets and even circuits. I feel like you go through your workout a lot faster that way and you aren't spending the whole day at the gym. It's not every day I want to be there all day every day. Despite what you guys think, I do not live in the gym. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you like the new audio if it's working for you and yeah let me know if you have any workout ideas of what you would like to see going forward and yeah i also want to say if you need more help with your workouts if you don't really know what to do if you want more in-depth breakdown of each and every one of the exercises and also if you want direct contact to me i would highly recommend to join my app i will be linking that down below there is kind of like a really affordable almost like a one-on-one -on -one type coaching option in it if you're interested in that or there's also the just the basic membership anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos like this one uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye!